Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, this is something I've been waiting for for a long time, to see this guy get arrested again. You may remember this guy from such classics as, such as uh, How to Defraud Your Bank and Go Into Debt, or other Sovereign Citizen classics. But at any rate, he uh, is pulled over once again and tells them that he's on the do not detain list. And well, it doesn't work out too well for this moron. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Huh? Oh, my bad. Yep. It's happening again. Hey, how you officer doing? Clear crash. I, was, I was hanging out out there. I didn't want to get hit. Uh, <laughs> so the reason I pulled you over, um, Officer Clear Crash here, is uh, I ran your plate. It's coming back to like a white suit. Is that a specialty Florida plate? What is that? No, it's a private plate. A private plate? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's because, I mean, when I run a Florida with that, it comes, yeah. like I said, it comes back to a white suit. Do you have any, like, yes, sir. registration? Yes, sir. One second. One second. Oh, shoot. You got your driver's license and insurance on this as well? Yes, sir. I just have. Yes, sir. Here you go. You got a license as well? This is all I got, sir. Here you go. You have a driver's license or no? Uh, no. Don't you know who this is? This is the very famous sovereign citizen guru Tanquin X. I mean, he's responsible for a lot of his students going to jail because they were stupid enough to listen to this guy. Alright, so what, what info do you have on the vehicle? Well, I own this vehicle. No, no, I'm saying, do you have any like registration or something like that? Oh, no. Because, like I said, when I'm running the plate, it's coming back to a completely different vehicle. Oh, no, that's not even a, a Florida plate. Like, far as like a register, a registered plate, it's a private plate. So what's it registered? What's the vehicle registered? It's not even registered, sir. So, you can't drive an unregistered vehicle in the United States. No, I'm just traveling, sir. As many times as you've been pulled over and arrested for this, you should have already figured out by now that, uh, you're supposed to have license registration and everything like that when you use a conveyance like a motor vehicle to travel along the public roadway system. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's the damn law. But of course, you, as a sovereign citizen guru, will try to make up any reason not to follow the law, which is why you do have a felony record at this point. So you don't have a driver's license, you don't have, is there any particular reason why? Um, like, I like to exercise my constitutional right just to travel, you know. Okay. No. All right, just hang tight, man. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, we all have a constitutional right to travel from state to state at will. Not like North Korea, where you've got to have, uh, papers and everything like that to do so you just can't pack up and leave and go to another province in that country but still in this country you've got to have a license registration proof of insurance and everything like that to be able to travel on the roadway the public roadways in this country there's no one preventing you from traveling it's just the method of travel that's the issue but at any rate he's going to be sitting here for a while so let's go ahead and fast forward this Bus bus too early. Prepare to fast forward. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. 
Yeah, they contemplate right now. They're like, what the heck? What the hell is this? Told you a lot of police ain't never seen this before. They come up, do not detain and all that. They're like, what the hell? It's all foreign to them. Look, no kids in the back, none of that. Cause they asked them, they like, oh, they let you go because your wife, your kids is in the back. Let's find out. Dude, there is no such thing as the do not detain list. Well, at least not in the way you recognize it. I mean, the way it is, is for those who are of the highest echelon of criminal scumbags that the FBI or other agencies like that are investigating, and they don't want the local authorities getting involved in it, so they put them on a do not detain list should they uh, get detained somehow. And if they're on that do not detain list, then I'll tell you something right now. The uh, federal law enforcement agencies are about to come down hard on them. So you don't want to be on that list anyway. Hey, so, uh, hey, how you doing? What's going on? So where, where do you live? Where I live in the United States of America Republic. Okay, which, but where's your residence, your house? Uh, the United States of America Republic. Okay, so where are you heading right now? The United States of America Republic. Okay, so are you, are you just, you don't want to answer? No, no, nah, nah, that's where I live, sir. I don't. Okay, so, like, basically, the problem is, is I understand what you're saying, like, you're, yes, sir. you're practicing your constitutional right to travel, but in the United States, you still have to have the vehicles still have to be registered and stuff like that. You can't just, there just not register. I mean, so what happens if you crash the, I mean this is a nice car right yes so if you have no insurance what happens what do you think is going to happen I'll have to personally compensate that person that's a bold face liar right there dude in another video I've got you on you told everybody in your audience that you were not going to compensate anybody else who wasn't a like-minded sovereign citizen such as yourself that was the gist of it everybody else uh, according to you could go to hell you had, you'd yes. end up losing everything you own is the problem. I understand that, but, you know, I still would, as a man, you know, give them but exactly. See, the, the problem is, in the United States of America, all 50 states, they require you to insure your car. So okay. that doesn't happen. Okay. So you don't have any insurance. Have you ever been arrested before? No. You've never been arrested? No. So, that's, so when I looked up your name, and I seen that you had been arrested, that wasn't you? No. No, according to this uh, jackass uh, of a softard, of a softard guru, that's not actually him. That's his straw man. That's his corporate name. That's not actually him. Okay, I know it's confusing to a lot of people around here, but that's the way these softard idiots think. I mean, it's ridiculous. Because on the information on my car, I don't. No, I've never been arrested. You want to step out? I mean, I we got. I gotta figure figure this out. I want to run the VIN off the oh, door. Oh, uh, it's right here. The VIN number. Right, I'm, I'm not gonna scratch your car up trying to. No, run. no, no. You don't have to scratch it. You can just no, look. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. I want. I need you to step out. I, I can't. Why can't you? Because. Are you physically un, unable or? I, I I can't because the VIN number is right there, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna. I have to compare the VIN both spots to make sure that this vehicle is not stolen. Because as of right now. I, right now, I don't know anything about the vehicle. You haven't given me any info Cause about the Because the VIN number right there you see on the side see, right there? And see, you got, I want to compare the VIN in certain spots. That's, the, that's the thing. If you want to be able to be free to travel about your way, you have to let me make you verify this vehicle's not stolen. I understand that, sir, so but the VIN I, number that's right there. That's what I'm worried. I, need, I don't need to just see that VIN. I need to see other VINs. So there's a, multiple spots where there's, there's a VIN. And if I compare them and they come out to be legit, that I can verify that this vehicle is not stolen. That, right now, that's my, my main concern, to make sure this vehicle is not. But, I want to make sure this is your vehicle, that's all. But that VIN, you see that VIN right there? I understand, but you haven't given me any information. Well, I'm okay. giving you the VIN, the VIN number right here. I 
I still have to run. I still have to open the door and run that vent. So my vent, my vent right here. I, I even got a vent under the car as well. Yes, you also have one under the uh, passenger seat. There's a lot of places that the vent is. Correct. And, they, and they're permanent. So you can change this vent. You can change that vent. I can't change under it. Under it'd be 10 times harder. Car, but I'm not going to go underneath this car. Where'd you buy this vehicle? I bought it for someone. Where though? I bought it in the United States of America Republic, sir. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, Spawn. So here's the here's the issue. So we got to fingerprint you to make sure you're you're who you say you are. So at this point, we're gonna have to place you in custody. I'm gonna have to ask you ask you to come out. Uh, okay. Now I don't I don't want to do this. I, I don't want to do this to make things worse. I understand you're practicing your constitutional right, but I'm also doing my job as a police officer. Okay. So I'm, 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 I've been very calm with you. I've listened to what you had to say. And I also am trying to get the reciprocating yes, respect. Sir. I don't want to, I'm not going to try to wrestle you out of the car. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to have, I'm going to have to take you to make, verify who you are. And then, you know, you can be on your way. But okay. I have to take you, I have to take you in and have your fingerprints. I can't, I just gave you my ID. No, see, the thing is, is I had, I need to see your fingerprints for you. Because you're not, you're not telling me where you live. You're not telling me anything. That's, that's my so, address. I okay, I understand. You're not telling me where you live. And you, you, United States is not an address. I'm being very calm with you. I'm being very respectful. Yes, sir. But I also have to do my job, and I don't want. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to wrestle with you. Okay? I understand, sir. And like, I'm not trying to do that because that's, that's not right. But I still live outside of your jurisdiction, sir. I don't. You live within the United States. You live within one of the 50 states of the United States. You are within the jurisdiction of the United States, dude. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Are you going to walk into uh, Canada and say that I am not under your jurisdiction because after you commit a crime up there? No. They're going to haul your butt off to jail and prosecute you because that you committed a crime in their country. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, dude. They will prosecute you up there if you commit a crime in their territory. Actually, you don't. You're in Cook County right now. You're inside my jurisdiction. All uh, of Cook County is my jurisdiction. We're in Cook County. I understand that. In Illinois, in the United States of America. I understand okay? that, but personal. I'm not inside your jurisdiction. Personally. There's no personal jurisdiction has been established. Dude, personal jurisdiction only really refers to civil lawsuits. So you might want to re rethink your strategy here because it's not going to work. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you again, would you please step out of the vehicle? I don't want I don't want this to go sideways. Okay. I understand, I just, it, sir. I just need you to step out. Sir, I can't. I can't, sir. Are you? Why Why are we making this more difficult no, than it needs to be? Sir, I'm just saying I'm, I'm outside y'all jurisdiction. You know, I'm not trying you're to cause not, any you're, issues. You're 100 in my jurisdiction. I guarantee you, a judge will 100 agree with me. Okay, uh, if you were outside my jurisdiction, I wouldn't be stopping you right now. Okay, I would not. You'd be moving on with your life. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I can't. I'm sorry, sir. I can't. Sir, I can't. Listen. All right. Can you please shut the vehicle off right now? So, can you on. please shut the vehicle off? I'm gonna. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna do baby steps. Okay. I'm gonna need you to shut the vehicle off. All right. So I'm gonna need you to come out. I'm gonna I'm gonna open your door because you're gonna need Sorry, to come out. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna need you to come out. I'm not. I'm like, what did I tell you? I'm being I'm being respectful with you, okay? But I also at this point I have to place you in custody because you you're not under our law in Cook County in the state of Illinois in the United States. You're not driving with a proper driver's license. Okay. So, uh, I understand what you you're saying, and you have every right to fight that, but it's going to be in court. It's not going to be with me. Yeah, I don't have jurisdiction, sir. Okay, That's... so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you again. Sorry, I can't. I, I really don't want this to go. You you, you know what's gonna happen. Okay. I don't. Okay. Want, let me, let me turn off this. Let me turn off this thing at the bottom. 
What's the thing at the bottom? You the light, the light. So my battery won't dry. Well, I'll let you turn that stuff off. I got it. Right. Okay. As of right now, yes, I'm gonna sir. tell you right now, as of right now, you have done nothing majorly wrong, okay? You have done nothing majorly wrong. If we have to rescue you out of the vehicle, it's just gonna escalate, okay? I don't want it to escalate. I, no, I want shoot, you to, I want you, after we're done with all this, to go home, okay? That's what I want you to do. I want you to go home, wherever it is you live, okay? But right now, you have to come with me. Shoot, shoot. Okay? No, sir, I can't. Hold on, one second. I can't, I can't agree but, to you, But sir. Here's, here's the problem, though. Right? to extract you from this vehicle and, and you're resisting i'm gonna add a resisting charge i don't want to right now this is all traffic related this is all traffic related nonsense that's all paperwork issue okay so i'm gonna need you to it's come okay. out i'm gonna get my phone from well we'll get your phone in a minute if I, you step outside we'll get your phone we're gonna talk we're gonna I we're gonna talk like men okay i, can, I couldn't agree to that sir i know you don't agree with it but it's not at this point it's not All right, I'm gonna have to take your seatbelt off myself then. Please don't resist at this point, okay? I know you don't want to, but I have to have you step out, okay? I know you don't want to. I'm uh, gonna have you step out. Okay. I'm, okay. okay, so I'm not. I'm not, I'm not okay, I know you don't agree, and you're on camera, yeah. and you and you can you can actually use all the the camera right. footage to your to your liking. All right, step over here. Just put your hands on the vehicle. I'm just make sure you don't have any weapons on you, okay? And well, now that's that. Uh, this sovereign citizen guru did not get away with uh, his BS rhetoric this time. He ended up getting arrested and, well, released later on. But I'm sure he's going to have uh, court later on down the road. And in fact, he has another video that uh, he published that, uh, well, he's trying to explain to his audience as to how he was able to be arrested since he was on the do not detain list. So I'm going to have to download that one and post it later on. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.